Welcome to Crash TV 15. It's a special from my paradise tropical island. <laughs> this is Crash TV. So this week I'm joined by Matt. Yes. And Craig. <laughs> And we're going to be talking about the island. But first, we thought we'd do a quick recap because uh, it's been a while since we all got together. There's a lot going on. And there's a lot going on. So in the last few weeks, we've announced a big announcement every Friday. Mm -hmm. And we've got more to come. But so far, it's um, Burnout Party and Burnout Paradise, the ultimate box, coming in Feb. We've got Burnout Paradise on PC, the ultimate box. Yeah, and we've announced the new car collection. So toy cars, legendary cars, and the boost special. So more details on those coming soon. So the news is finally out there and we're able to get really stuck into the detail of that over the coming podcasts. And uh, I think the thing to remember is uh, that's not quite it. No, there's more. There's, uh, <laughs> there's more to come. There's always done. more. We're going a bit crazy on this. We are going a bit crazy on this. But, Game changing um, content, Mark. <laughs> well, it's been a busy year. It feels like um, not much has been out in the, in the last few weeks, but next year it's just like a barrage of just so much content, so much good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a big year. Yeah, so another uh, big year. Well, I think you know, and this one is in, in particular something that people have been gagging for more information on. So it's good to be able to f finally just tease a little bit of uh, new details on the island. On the island, exactly. Yeah. So um, first up, we've got some new screenshots on the island. Okay, so yeah, this first shot then shows uh, the entrance to the island. Big Surf Island is the name, and uh, just coming in there, there's a big sign. <laughs> so, well, there's more than that. <laughs> uh, we've got this amazing circular building on the left here, yeah. and uh, just a brief glimpse there on the right of... Um, of TJT, which is uh, Taylor J Towers, the uh, the hotel that we named after the son of uh, DBC Nine MX. Well, this DBC uh, Nine MX Junior. This spiral, but this building is sensational it's to drive cool. up well, and down. You can drift all the way up it. Can we nickname it the in spiral you, you, car park? You can drift all the way up. It. I can drift all the way up it, and I can drift all the way back down it. And you can jump out of each of the levels as well. So that's really cool. We've yeah, really it's amazing. This is the first shot I think where you can see back onto uh, mainland Paradise City. So uh, downtown Paradise at the other side of the bridge there. Yeah, it's kind of like the Earthrise shot from the moon, yeah, seeing nice. the Earth for the first time from. <laughs> Because uh, you've never seen, you'll have never seen Paradise City in that way. So that's a really cool, that's a really cool shot. Also looking at the building in the background there, you can see um, some detail across the top um, along the roof line. You can actually get up onto that building. You can jump to it from a different building or you can drive up it as well. And if you look at those little struts that are sticking out, they're one of the, uh, the little gameplay features that we've put in there. Uh, this next shot is, uh, oh, it's the, this is the, the dark side of the moon, Matt. This is the first shot from the other side of the island. Yeah, something that we, we, have, well, we haven't showed that off at all, so that's, um, that's brand new. Yeah, and it um, does, uh, does emphasize that distinctly tropical flavor yeah. with the palm trees there. <laughs> yeah, so your intro did mean something. <laughs> <laughs> there was a purpose to it. <laughs> and this, this final shot, I mean, Craig, you picked Wait, I want to go back and talk about, so, you know, much as Matt really likes the, uh, the nice foliage and the palm trees and stuff, <laughs> you know, let's talk about some of the gameplay in that, in that shot back there. You can see there's a, um, there's a lighthouse there just off, uh, off the middle. Um, there's a reason why the lighthouse is that shape and it's got a big gap in the middle. I'm sure you can kind of all, uh, all imagine what that's for. So that, that's very cool. That's one of the, the good moments. Yeah, we're trying island. to avoid giving away too much gameplay in this podcast Yeah, but that's all coming next year. Actually, but I think we've <laughs> said already... If you can see it, you can drive it. And yeah. I think if you know our, our more kind of um, observant fans will just be pouring over these shots and going, yeah. oh, I wonder if you can do there. I well, if I, you think, I think the big ski jump in the middle of, between those two palm trees kind of gives it away. <laughs> <laughs> is there that are some what that mental is. jumps there. There are some big jumps. It's the big air location, isn't it? Speaking of big jumps. Yes. <laughs> and speaking of big jumps, this is the shot you picked out, right, Craig? This is uh, my favourite shot of the island because I think it pretty much sums up um, the kind of fun that people are going to have on it. So we've got four people um, all driving around in the dust storm. You can see all of the, uh, the, the concrete hoops we've got there, which obviously you can jump through. There's one of the new billboards in the background. You can pretty much drive on everything you can see here. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's just really fun. I mean, one of the coolest stuff about the island is it's all the best bits from Paradise, all the stuff that players like about doing huge jumps. It's got the biggest jumps 
um, that you'll ever see in the game. I think one of them is like four or five seconds of airtime. Um, you can pretty much <laughs> you can pretty much drive on everything. There's some crazy, insane stunt routes to take, um, and it's just you know it's really is all of the the kind of the best stuff that people loved from Paradise boiled down and built into an island that really is amazing. We have a lot of fun playing it in the office. Yeah, yeah if you like the airfield, you'll love the island. Absolutely. Um, and we also wanted to talk about um, some video footage that we're putting out. So let's have a quick look at that. All right, so this is uh, this is what you can see right now in Paradise. So if you've got the game, you can drive around to uh, Angus Wharf, and I think you, uh, you cut around the corner there. You can just see the bridge, the uh, the early bridge to the island, and the silhouette of the island done modelled out there. And Utah's amazing Tempest of Dream, one of my favourite cars. Ah, oh, some good yeah. good driving there from Joel, actually showing off the Tempest of Dream. And uh, <laughs> here we go. Right, so this is what we can see in uh, our lovely new version of Burnout Paradise. Uh, you can see the the. Uh, the bridge all modelled out there and the island way off in the distance. There's a lot more detail on that. You can see there's loads of cool stuff. So we're just taking another approach here. We've started in the junkyard, which is the, the junkyard you start normally when you start the game. Um, but we're going to drive down here and show you what it's like to actually drive across that bridge that I know a lot of you have been waiting to do for a long time. Yeah, way off in there you can see the silhouette of the buildings on the island and here we can see the bridge coming up as well. So I know a lot of fans will be pausing this and yeah. looking, scrutinising the details. They want to see everything. There's quite a lot in this uh, in this video. This is this is the greatest bridge in the history of bridges. It's a good bridge. It it's is a good not bridge. just for looking at. Yeah. <laughs> so we showed this way back in May, didn't we? With the uh, dust storm tearing across here, and then we had it crash right about there. <laughs> And so people didn't get to see any more. So this is the, the brief glimpse they're going to get. Yeah. Taylor J's hotel just there on the right. I drove past a, quite a large ramp on your left there. I wonder what that's for. And swing it around to Big Surf. So that's it. So there's a refresh of where we were in May. And it's quite a, it's quite a good place to start because where we were in May, we kind of threw away all that stuff. So what you've got now is a completely new island, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it's it, because I think our vision, totally uh, totally the vision changed. became... Well, you know, we were talking, it was based on the telemetry that we were seeing where people were congregating around in, in Paradise City and the fun place is the island and the airfield. And, and the dam. And the dam and, the know, quarry. Uh, and actually the beach. And when we've done the traffic reports, people can see that people, that's where a lot of the play happens. And those, those kind of playgrounds, it was, well, actually, this island needs to be a concentration of all of that action into one big space. Yeah, I mean, we spent a lot of time looking at what you guys have been up to when you've been playing the game, and we know that generally people like to do big jumps, <laughs> yeah. to drive through interesting routes and kind of test themselves, and to get together and just kind of smash into each other and generally, you know, fly about the place. So we thought, well, rather than just do an island where you can do that in a few places, mm. how's about we build an island where you can do that everywhere? I mean, everywhere, you know, it, it, there's... There's so many different places that you can go to. If you can see it, you can drive it. Um, and as I've you know, already mentioned, it's got by far the biggest jumps in the game <laughs> and by far the most insane stunt routes and by far the most off-road stuff to drive around, which is something you know not a lot of people have seen. Um, yeah, so it is amazing. And it is, I think it's just, it's more premium content for next year. It's obviously something we'll be looking for people to, uh, yeah. to pay towards, but it's, it's just, I think it's an extra addition to what is already just an amazing package. You know, 30 bucks for Burnout Paradise. It's a massive game. There's tons to do. Well, if um, you think about it, content, yeah, I mean, all, into it, there's all of so that, much more to the, enjoy. the added hours of play that we've, that we've added with, with the, the free packs, the Cagney and bikes, um, you know, inflates it to an enormous, yeah, it's such an amazing value. Um, but I think I think it's also that you know the vision for what we were creating when we said when we talked about the island the first time as something that you know we were hoping to give away for free that the vision of what we actually really hold on a minute we've got to create something extraordinarily special and and this island can't sustain a, unfortunately giving it away for nothing. No, we just got too into DLC <laughs> this year, didn't we? Yeah. We just started to enjoy making this stuff so much and we we kind of expanded the scope and expanded the vision for everything and now it's just like, well it's premium. It is just premium content, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's We've, worth we, everything, you know, yeah. We just need some we need some support. <laughs> exactly right. So uh, we'll be back in a, a future podcast with a load more detail on the island. Um, and also back next week with um, the first kind of uh, in-depth look at um, one out of six boroughs. So we figured we'd go in-depth on downtown paradise and then work our way through the city until it's time to show you everything you need to know about the island. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Mailbag at CriterionGames.com
Mail us at Criterion Games, Onslow House, Onslow Street, Guilford, Surrey, GU14TN in the UK.